Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Had an interesting question um, from uh, Michael Simons, and uh, I hope I'm saying that right, Michael. Uh, comment on one of the uh, recent videos I did about Micro Four Thirds Wide Angles. He says, uh, hey Matt, are you still shooting this show with the G85? So he's asking um, this show here that you're watching, the uh, Art of the Image, on YouTube, um, am I still shooting it with the Panasonic G85? And uh, yes, short answer is yes, the G85 is staring at me right now recording this. Um, 12 to 35 f2.8, the Panasonic 12 to 35 f2.8 is on there. Um, and I'm using, as I said, the G85. The G85, I've got my sound from my AT2020 piped into my Zoom H4n, which is in turn piped directly into the camera. And I have the sound levels tweaked between the Zoom and the camera so it doesn't clip. Um, I think I accidentally reset them, and there was a few videos up recently that were clipping a bit. This should sound better. Um, so this is being recorded directly into the camera through, but via the Zoom H4. So again, AT2020 mic, which is a really nice mic, goes into my Zoom. The Zoom then goes, patches into the camera so I don't have to sync the audio later, even though that's pretty easy to do in Premiere Pro. It's just one less step. Um, and he as, also asked, I just see there's a second comment here from Michael. If so, are you shooting 30 frames per second or 24? I'm shooting uh, 30 frames per second. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm shooting um, 30 frames per second at 1 30th of a second. So you've got that kind of similarities there. Um, because as I understand it, you should um, you should match those two up. So it should be divisible. Um, so I would I, I guess if I was going up, I would shoot at 1 60th, but I, I shoot at 1 30th because I'm pretty stationary here, uh, and I'm at 30 frames per second. So hopefully that answers your question. It also gives all of you folks a little update if you're wondering what I'm shooting with, what the current gear is here. Um, again, the AT2020 mic, I'm actually using an iPad over here to control the camera with the Panasonic software, which is great. The mic is into the Zoom H4. Uh, and then it's patched into directly into the camera. The camera is actually powered by uh, no longer using batteries, as I've showed you in a, in a previous video. Um, but I have an AC converter now, which is great because I don't ever have to worry about charging the batteries or flipping them out or whatnot. And then it's going into a pile, um, my pile uh, line cleaner. It's a power supply, um, with which it uh, gives you the, um, what do they call that on here? Anyways, it's a clean audio Um reduce it's an AC uh, audio filtering it's cutting any line noise you might be getting from uh, the power line or whatnot or what you're plugged into which I was didn't really notice it to be a problem um, my friend Peter Gregg got me into that and it, the thing is it gives you a nice big power bar for and the price was very close to the price of a power bar anyway so it was, it was a good option that's the current gear before I ramble on further uh, yes I'm still shooting the G85 love that camera until they come up with an update to it I'll probably be shooting it uh, until that point. Um, or, you know, if Canon comes out with a 90D to replace the 80D or something like that. Um, I believe I have a Nikon D7500 coming in. Do want to play with the Sony RX10 Mark II and three. So there's going to be some stuff coming in shortly that I'm going to be playing with, but that is what I'm shooting with. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below about the gear and the setup. Um, thanks for your question, Michael. Hope that helps you out. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.